It's a place with a chimney tower said all. Yes, welcome to Battersea Power Station, but just look at the top of this particular funnel, because it's the brand new lift. It's lift 109, and what an experience we've got for you. Join us as we go up in it today and see the spectacular views from the top. This new experience, 109 meters high, hence the reason why it's called Lift 109, opened in November this year. So let's bring it to you. Now, when you get to the experience, you've got a timed ticket. Make sure you arrive no earlier than five minutes beforehand, because they won't let you in, because what happens is you go into this sort of holding area. And in this area here, it gives you the history of Battersea Power Station, how the power station has been used over the years, and basically just gives you a load of info before you get in the lift to go to the top. Now this big interactive table is underneath the hanging display that we've just shown you. And the idea is the more energy you put into it, the more energy it gets to turn the turbine and actually the more the lights come on on the hanging installation above you. So it's there to represent the power that you're generating, which in turn is powering the power station. Now the shopping centre here at Battersea Power Station has only been open from October 2022. So it's all fairly new with lots and lots of things opening. And as you can see, you've got a Lyft 109 gift shop. So when you come out, guess what? Yep, you end up coming through. So you can get the odd souvenir or so when you're going through. Right, shall we? Yeah, why not? Let's wait and let's get the lift up. Before you go up, by the way, you've got an area where you can have your photo taken behind a green screen. Yep, it's a proper tourist attraction. Now the whole experience from your ticket time to the time that you get up and then come back down again takes about 45 minutes. So just allow that amount of time. And as you can see, the countdown has gone on the clock that's there, which then turns into a door where you go into the experience. Now, when you get through this door, you then enter a room which has then got interactive walls. So you can see various things that are happening, which will show you a selection. We don't want to bring you everything so you get the full experience when you go yourself. But yes, you've got things like fire, but then you've got all sorts of shapes that are flying around. And then something that really took me, which was Battersea Power Station and other London parts to it as well. But you'll see that in just a second. But you can see it's all projected on the walls and on the floor as well. And of course, the whole thing is done to music as well. So the sound and the vision is really, really impressive as it all happens together. Right, now for Battersea Power Station and its place in London. And then as all of the different places in London disappear, it gives you this very fast illusion that you're traveling up, which you're not yet. You're about to get in the lift to go and do that. Now, what happens is you get in a square enclosed lift. That takes you up about 15 floors. It then takes you off here and then you walk the final few floors and you go up the steps to the glass lift. The good news is there's a lift there. So when you get there and you need to take a lift up to the other lift, which is this one, which takes you to the top of the funnel, there are no steps if you need accessibility assistance. So now we're in the glass lift, we're in the funnel, and we're about to go up. And as you do, you've got the neon lights. Now, the great thing also as you go around is you've got guides to what you can see over in different directions. And it also tells you how far up you are. So when you get in, you're at 67 meters already. And of course, it takes you to 109, which is the very top. But as you can see, you're going up past the neon lights, which are all very pretty and all very photogenic. By the way, what you can see on the top here, because it's a glass lift with a glass roof, that's the rainwater. So if you've got a day like I had when I came up here, it wasn't actually raining at the time, but it had been previously, so we caught it. And as you can see, we've now hit 80 meters, and then we're gonna hit 90 meters, so we're almost there. And then all of a sudden, you get to the top, and you pop out of the top, which is a very, very strange feeling, because all of a sudden, bang, you're there. As it's the glass lift that we showed you beforehand, you've got 360 degree views around London from Battersea. And what's really disconcerting is you're right at the top of the funnel. So when you're looking at the other funnels like here, you're actually higher than they are, which um, does take you a little bit of time just to get used to. 
Here we're looking towards southwest London and we're also looking over Battersea Park. But as you look in this direction on a really clear day, you'll see Wimbledon, uh, you'll see sort of Twickenham, you'll see all that stuff out in that direction. In this direction, we're looking down the Thames to the west, and this is Albert Bridge. And then, as we swing round, you're going to come to the Royal Hospital at Chelsea. Of course, this is the showgrounds where the Chelsea Flower Show happens. If you're coming in and out of Victoria Station, this is the bridge you're going to pass over at Battersea Bridge here. Here we're looking ahead to the north and you can see the neon lights and the ferris wheel from Hyde Park's Winter Wonderland. The building on the right hand side, the tall building, is the Hilton at Park Lane. And if you're looking at all these houses down here in front of us, this is all Pimlico. As we move round, you can see the London Eye, which shows you where Westminster is. You can see the City of London, and there you go, you saw the Shard there as well. So it just gives you a scoop round. Now, also in the lift, you can see we're now at 109 metres high. For me personally, I just love the view of the Thames. And as you can see, you can get an Uber boat here, and there it is, disappearing off into central London. Now, if you want more information such as opening times, ticket prices, etc., then all you do is go to their website, which is lift109.co.uk. So, I know many of you want to know what my thoughts and opinions were. Right, so, I absolutely love the experience. Actually, I was a bit nervous about going up in the lift, but I didn't realise the lift didn't go all the way up the funnel, which actually made it feel a lot better, which is why I've told you that but I found the experience was over far too quick. And by that, I mean you only get eight minutes exactly at the top getting the views, and it goes very, very quickly. And that just shows you inside the lift, and when you go up, you've got about 20 or 30 other people with you. So it's quite easy to get around, get your space in all the windows so you have a good view around. But eight minutes goes extremely fast, so whatever you do, don't waste your time in there. Also, something else to tell you is you have a lift guide in there with you, so you can ask them all sorts of questions about the things you're looking at, and they have been trained up to be able to tell you what you're actually looking at out of any of the different views. What I found was you got really comfortable, and then all of a sudden, the lift goes down, and that's it. You're back in the funnel again, and back on your way down and out to via the gift shop. So, as an experience, I absolutely loved it. Views across London, brilliant. If you've got a great clear day, then you'll be really, really pleased with the views that you get across London. I suppose the key question is, how does it compare to the London Eye? Well, it's completely different because it's in a different part of London, so you're getting different views. And the London Eye is right by the Houses of Parliament, so you're getting the views across Westminster, you're getting views across the park, etc. as well. And also, the London Eye is 135 metres tall, so it's just slightly higher than this lift. So what did you think of the Lift 109 experience from what we've shown you? And would you fancy going up there and getting those views across London? Let us know in the comments down below. Now, if you want free views across London right from the city, the Sky Garden is an amazing place to go and you need to see those views there. So click on the video I've put in the top right hand corner and I'll see you in there.